Welcome to the series of Azure ML Toolbox video tutorials. Today I am going to talk about Remove Duplicate Rows control in Azure ML. This control is used to remove all the duplicate rows from the input data set based on the list of features or columns you specify. Before jumping to the Remove Duplicate Rows control, let's get a data set which has a lot of duplicate values. I will take a data set from Save Data Sets. Let's drag Restaurant Ratings data set on the canvas. Next, to use Remove Duplicate Rows control, go to Data Transformation tab and expand Manipulation tab. Drag Remove Duplicate Rows control on the canvas. But before removing the duplicate rows, we have to understand which columns have duplicate values. So let's visualize the data set. This is the Restaurant Ratings data set. It has 1161 rows and 3 columns. So we have to determine duplicate rows. But there is no parameter that indicates duplicate values in a column. However, we can determine unique values in a column and based on that, we can calculate the duplicate rows in it. To check the number of unique values in a column, we have to click on the column name and on the right hand side, we can see unique values under statistics pane. User ID column has 138 unique values and all the other data is duplicated. Similarly, place ID column has 130 unique values and all the other data is duplicated. And in ratings, there are only three unique values. Going ahead, let's talk about remove duplicate rows control. We have to connect this data set to remove duplicate rows control. In the Properties pane, we have to select columns from which we will remove the duplicate rows. Let's go there and click on Launch Column Selector. I will select User ID column and by using Remove Duplicate Rows control, we will be able to remove duplicate rows from this User ID. I have selected User ID because User ID is the key column and therefore if we remove duplicates, from that column then the number of entries in other columns will also be reduced and then you can also remove duplicates from other columns as well if you want. If the data set has any missing values then there are some additional conditions that may apply. So let's see our data set one more time. User ID column has zero missing values. Place ID column has zero missing values and similarly rating column has zero missing values. So this data set doesn't have any missing values but your data set might have some missing values and in that case you have to keep three conditions in your mind. The first condition is the input data set is allowed to have missing values in key and non-key columns. The second condition is for key columns, a missing value is considered equal to the other missing values but not equal to non-missing values. And the third condition is an exception is made when values are missing in key columns in sparse datasets. In a sparse dataset, the missing value is considered equal only if it equals the default representation of a sparse value. Next, we have an option to retain first duplicate row. This option is selected by default and I'll keep it as it is. Now we will run the experiment. Experiment has finished running and we can see the output results. Right click on the remove duplicate rows control and select visualize. If you remember, there were 1161 rows in the restaurant ratings dataset. And after applying remove duplicate rows control, we have 138 number of rows in the output data set. Let's click on user ID column and we can see there are 138 
unique values. Therefore, we have removed all the duplicates from user ID column. And this is how remove duplicate rows control works. Thank you.